Okay, so as you can see, the website's looking pretty different now. And um, just as a heads up for the final presentation of your website, the level of complexity that's starting to occur within the All About Tree site here, the way that it's displaying content and put together, um, really that's about the level we're going to be looking for for your final projects. Okay, so um, it's going to be really easy to tell instantly going through them how much effort was put into them and whether or not you have a handle on using the technologies that we've covered so far. So if you're not sure, um, please get a hold of me and um, you know I'll work with you as much as you need until the end of the semester. So anyway, uh, moving on. Let's talk about the changes on this website, okay? Um, we're gonna leave the K2 uh, category blogs here, or actually not category blogs, but the K2 blogging here and user registration for the next video. Um, so the changes that I've made here. Um, I had to move my logo over further because as I made some more menu items here, I made this new category blog here and of course added this K2 blog and that ended up conflicting with the position of my logo and so I had to use Firebug and go in and you know go into the template CSS and move the uh, lo logo down a ways. Okay. So what else did I do? I guess just jumping right below. I made my slideshow CK module thinner. Okay, um, it's this, you know just like when I set up this slideshow, and every one of these are different depending on what slideshow you decided to use. Um, this particular one here didn't come with this template. It's the slideshow CK one. Um, and uh, anyway, there's just a setting in the modules here in the module settings, just like where you added the pictures. So when I added all these pictures. Below that, there was another setting for style, and I just, um, you know, changed the height from 500 pixels to 350 pixels, and that made this smaller. Okay, so whenever you install modules, go into the settings and really fool around with all the different settings that are in there and see, you know, what you can come up with, because right out of the box, it's going to look a certain way, but a lot of times you can get in there and keep customizing it. Um, anyway, I actually experimented with another slider too called the plus slider and um, it had some really cool features as well, some you know text that dropped down in different ways than this. So um, but anyway, I decided to go with this one, but go ahead and try a bunch of different you know extensions and see you know what you like. So speaking of extensions, moving down, this uh, recent projects here. Now, the recent projects module came with my Ares template. If you looked at a lot of different templates, you saw a lot of different modules just like this on the front of those sites. And um, they'll come free with templates. So go through your template and see what modules were included. You know, when you create a new module, look and see what's there. Because a lot of times there's something already included that you can use. And then if not, you can just do a search for all different kinds of you know content displays and sliders and see what you can come up with. I like this one. It's nice and clean and responsive. You know, if I you hover over them, I get the titles. Now, I am linking to three articles that are inside my recent projects uh, category, okay? And then I have those set up as a category blog. I set that up exactly the same way as I set up the news category blog. So if you watch that video here, you'll know exactly how I did that. I just set up another one. And let's go there now. Okay, so I set up an article for tire swings, an article about bamboo, an article about bonsai trees, okay? And then I made a category blog menu item and set it to show the or show the articles in my recent projects category. And there you go, and it did it, okay? Now it's the exact same technique I used to make this, which I demonstrated in the video. Here's my tree health article, my tree climbing article, and my giving tree article, okay? And they are, um, you know, all separate articles. If I clicked on any of these, it would take me to the article itself. However, rather than have it set up, you know, there's no tree climbing link up here or anything. I have them set up in a category blog, and this is how I get to them. Okay, and if you watch this video on how I set that up, you'll, uh, you know, know exactly how I set up my recent projects one. Okay, the next thing you might notice here is my breadcrumbs. Okay, that's just a module again, and. I just turned on breadcrumbs. So what are breadcrumbs, right? Well, kind of like the name implies, it's leaving a trail of where you've been, okay? 
And um, the reason why it looks the way it does is it's just part of this template. How I turned it on is, well, actually I'll show you in a minute. We'll go there. Um, okay, so anyway, to give you even a better example than we have right here, let's go ahead and go further in here. So I'm going to click on this tree health article here. Okay, now I'm on the actual um, article itself. And I got there from home news tree health okay so that's how breadcrumb works and um, it's pretty helpful so anyway I'm gonna go ahead now and go to my uh, control panel module manager okay and let's see where's my breadcrumbs okay so okay and I actually have so many modules installed now I'm just gonna do display all and okay so there's my breadcrumbs okay now I just created that module okay um just like if I was to click on new and you can see right here it says breadcrumbs if I was to click on that um, I'm not actually going to do this I'm just kind of demonstrating because I already have my breadcrumbs set up okay there and you see you know you select a position and off you go and of course the position that I set mine to was breadcrumbs um, see that position breadcrumbs okay yep just select the position now this one here was part of this template where it goes okay uh, my Eris template however they're all going to have one so you, you know but you can actually put it in a lot of different places so you can you know be experimental with you know all the different positions all the time we see how this um eris breadcrumb here yeah that's what i chose okay so back to the site anyway you'll notice that i don't have a breadcrumb trail on the front um i just didn't like it on there and there's no reason to because home is home but if you go to any other page then the breadcrumb trail pops up okay so anyway back to the displays so I have created this category blog that has three articles. So those articles exist, okay? Um, but they're not links themselves, except for if you go to recent projects, okay? And I set it up that way because um, they're recent projects. So whenever I add a new project, it's going to you know show up on the top over and over and over. So I keep adding more and more and more content. Okay, now for this particular module here, I had to individually set up um, where I wanted each one of these links to go. Okay, um, you know sometimes some sliders won't do that. Like this display here, actually, I didn't have to set it up article per article. I just said grab all the news events, and now each one of these will link. Okay, um, and there's lots of different ways for this to lay out too. I actually squished it in here like that because I wanted to fit this content in right here. Okay, but anyway, for this particular one, let's look at this. Um, recent tree projects and again this one just came with the module with the template there's a whole bunch of these out there though okay here we go um, so as you can see this right here link to recent projects view all of our projects okay that's this right here okay and then I set up these um, notice how this says bamboo fastest growing plant in the world right here bamboo the title and fastest growing plant in the world and then I had to select an image okay so then I just you know uploaded them to my media manager and selected those images just like setting up the uh, big front slider here right really really similar okay alright and that's how I set that up now sometimes you'll have to individually set these up like I did for this particular one Sometimes there'll just be a little, you know, tab right here that says choose which category you want to display articles from, and then you choose those category or that category, and they'll show up. Okay. So anyway, that's how I set up this particular one, just because I like the way it looked. However, this other one right here, and I'll provide a link to this one. Actually, this is a free uh, news and events display by Gavik and it actually works really well there's a whole lot of different layout options for it um, I squished this one in right here but you can you know extend this out you can have more stacked up right here you can do a lot of different things with this but let's go ahead and look at that module next okay and that module is the news and events module right here news show pro 
GK5. Okay, so that's the name of it. Um, anyway, there we go. New Show Pro GK5. This is by Gavik. Gavik makes really good templates. Actually, it's a really... I, um, I have a subscription to that particular uh, company for all the different um, templates and modules. And they make a lot of nice stuff for WordPress as well. It's, it's a pretty good company. But um, anyway, they give away this module for free though. So I'll give you a link to that. Or you can just go to their site and um, you know pick it up no problem let's see I'll go ahead and open that up as a side panel here okay so anyway this particular module what it does is it has a data source tab right and I just choose the category that I want I chose my news category okay source of articles Joomla categories you can choose all different kinds of stuff up here okay but I just want Joomla categories what category my news categories and again the news categories um, there was the tree climbing one, the tree health one, and the um, giving tree. Okay, and you can sort how you want them to show up. You know, by number of hits or descending or ascending. You know, okay. And let's see what else. Lots of different options. So if you do decide to go with this one, just play with all this stuff. See what's in here. Article layout. See, there's tons of options for how this thing is going to be laid out, how it's going to link, how big the thumbnails are. Okay. Um, you know, I chose to have mine be, you know, 240 pixels, which is, you'll notice that these things here are all the same size, okay? Yeah, and actually since this one was smaller, you can see it actually stretched it like that. Okay, and that's probably not the best technique. I might go in and put a higher res image in that article just so that looks a little nicer along, because everything else in here is pretty nice um, as far as the images. So, anyway, there's the website right there. Um, Gavik.com. Anyway, you can go here and you can get this module for free. Um, it actually, this pops up a lot in templates too. So, um, you know, you might already have this because it's a pretty common one. But anyway, that's all I did and I just set this to be in a specific module position, okay? Next to that, we have the uh, custom HTML module. Now you already made a custom HTML module in the assignment on um, where I, most of you actually uploaded social icons, but when we just created those, uh, you know, uh, HTML module, and then we were able to load images or text or anything we wanted to, we can put any HTML into a custom HTML module and then position it anywhere we want on our site. Okay, and um, that's how I did this. Now. Where I got the idea for this was on the make the Eris template. When I went to the Eris template um, website and looked at their demo site and decided that that was the basics of the um, website that I wanted to build, which looks way different now, actually. In fact, let's go there. Okay, here we go. So, um, so here's the template I used. And um, looks like you can actually purchase, you know, the full license of this to maybe remove that link off the footer. But this template was free. Okay, so anyway, um, this is what I saw right here, and I liked that. I liked that, you know, you know, there's a lot of modules out here that'll just do this for you. Um, but in this case, it's actually just HTML doing it. And so what I did is I actually went into the completed template and I took a look at their module and I grabbed the code out of the custom HTML module. So um, let's go ahead and look at that. So anyway, it was uh, featured trees. So again, see how it's got that similar setup? Yeah, I was being lazy, you know. Um, I could have actually just, you know, spent the time to make these tables, <laughs> but I liked the way that looked. I just uh, was wondering what module is that, and then I realized it was an HTML module. So, oh, easy enough, just grab the code, okay? So, and I'll include this code in a PDF for you, so you don't have to dig through everything if you want to try it out, okay? Now, um, when you look at how, when you look at this. There's not going to be anything that you haven't seen in here yet, except for the use of tables. Okay, we didn't go over tables yet. Um, anyway, let's see here. HTML tables, the W3 schools. It's really easy, right? You're just wrapping in table and tags, okay? And then we have the table rows. See that? Okay, um, all you got to do is right here, try it yourself. And um, 
give it a shot here at the W3 schools. Anytime you get confused about HTML, go to the W3 schools and just try this stuff, okay? And as soon as you start messing around here with these values in here and seeing how this changes, you'll pick it up right away if it's something you really want to learn, okay? Um, I definitely advise it. However, we didn't go over an assignment like using tables. But when I grabbed that code, oh, there's some tables. And as you can see, it divided these up in these nice little rows right here. And I just liked it and, you know, I'll include it so I'm not actually using anything on the site you don't have access to. But um, I just wanted to give it a shot. And since I got have my um, editor turned on and I have the what you see is what you get side going here, I was able to paste in the code, flip it over, and then I could just type in everything. Okay, easy as can be. So I'll include that code if you want to try it. Or alternatively, you know, don't be lazy like me and you can just, you know, put whatever you want in here for HTML. It's just fine. Um, it's just, I tend to do that stuff a lot. I mean, it's, you know, honestly, get into quick start packages and see how everything is set up in the code all the time. Anytime you go to a website you like to, open up this thing and just see what's going on. Look under the hood all the time. Cut and paste and just, uh, really, it's a great way to learn how all of the code works. So anyway, I did this. Now, if I were to set up a quick start package with Eris, it would have put this on the front for me automatically anyway. But I kind of like doing it that way. I just had a little bit more control. But anyway, that's why this is there. I just like the way it looked. And it's just a demonstration that you can actually, an HTML module is just that, an HTML module. You can put HTML code in it in any way you want to, of course. So these here are my, you know, my H2 tags, I believe, right? My different headers. And then I just, you know, put in images. And of course, course like I was saying this right here is just wrapped in an anchor tag no problem okay so let's move down um, get social now this particular module here it just came with this template again there's a million of them as you already saw when you guys were all looking for different um, modules for sharing you know your various social networks right there's a ton of them it seems endless so anyway all I did is I just turned one on and um, set it to be down here. I believe this was in bottom C is what this module position was. Okay, the next here is um, Flickr. I just installed one of the million Flickr modules that are out there. If you do a search for Flickr modules, they'll be non-stop, okay? And like, um, this one actually, again, just came included in this template. Usually when you look at a template, somewhere there'll be a bunch of different, you know, social sharing modules installed in it. And so, when you're looking for templates, I mean, sometimes it's nice to get a template just seeing all the functionality that it has, knowing you're going to completely change the way it looks, okay? But uh, I liked this particular Flickr thing, so I went, set it up. Um, I just grabbed somebody's random Flickr ID and included it, okay? So let's go ahead and check that out real quick here. So Flickr Flicks. Again, these are all going to be different, but one thing that's probably going to be pretty common between um, a lot of the Flickr ones here is, you know, enter in your Flickr ID. Now, I didn't actually enter in my Flickr ID because I was going for, um, what I was hoping for is to get a bunch of trees, and I found a photographer that was mainly, mainly had trees, but it looks like there's some other stuff that kind of weaseled their way in here, but anyway... So there's a tree. So it opens up in a light box, and I just put that down here, and I believe this was in bottom B. Okay. So those are all my modules, and we'll get to this one here in the next video, okay? Um, but, yeah, that's that's what I did here. Now, this is a, a website that is handling some content, I think, in a pretty nice way, okay? And it seems to make sense why I have the things positioned where they're at visually um, as far as... You know, when you look at other websites and kind of get a feel, and then also if you spend some time on this site, you know, you'll see that for the most part I think it's not very confusing. You know, I have my different trees set up here, and then I'm, you know, featuring some trees uh, right here, right? And, of course, these just link to... Uh, these different trees right here you know it's as if I've got this many trees and for some reason these ones are my favorites okay but you can imagine if these were products right or um, you know stories right uh, if you go to a lot of different news blog websites out there you know um, like I tend to read a lot of those 
and you'll see you know various articles over here and then some main articles right things like that or if this is you know various artwork or whatever you can see how the different categories are dividing up content in ways that are helpful in displaying what you know can actually be a ton of content and so the way it's managed and organized becomes really important so anyway that's what I've done now I went through all of my different articles and I made sure that I that they were nicely formatted with um, you know images and let's see what else might you notice that's new here this um, user rating here okay I turned on voting and we'll get to that when we get to actually users being able to register but it's a way for it to uh, vote on articles okay and you can actually set it up so where your category blogs the uh, different articles are weighted for um thank you for reading this article they're weighted depending on you know the date or if you want they're weighted and when i say weighted i mean which ones show up to the top right which ones are featured if you have 20 of them in a category blog which articles are on the top you can have by date you know most recent or um the oldest or you can do by voting or um, number of hits on that article how many people have clicked on it and read it and we'll get all into all of that stuff when we get into users here um, coming up in the next video I promise but anyway I wanted to show you all the changes that I've made and also show you that although the website is starting to really come together right now I haven't done anything that's really um, that's really different than anything that we've covered already this semester okay so um, really just going out and exploring various extensions what you can do with the custom HTML module um, completely using everything that you can out of the template that you've chosen go in there and see what features have come with it what modules are included you know go into create new modules and see what's all there because um, you already have it all you might as well see what power that they actually can lend to your website you know go and ex explore third-party modules and um, really you know with an understanding that having articles organized into uh, categories will give you a lot of different ways to display your content and um, make a richer website experience okay alright so now let's go ahead and go on to uh, user registration.